Hi you guys, seven tips to live, laugh, love and make life your literal bitch. Number one, wake up early. You have to be waking up at five in the morning. You are not conquering the world waking up at noon. You're not, I'm sorry, I know, it sucks. I love to sleep. Sleep is literally like sex to me. I love sleep, but you have to wake the fuck up literally okay so wake up at 5 a.m when you wake up and it's dark outside i promise you it is like super powers you feel like you could literally go do anything in the world you can conquer anything wake up it's time to wake up when you wake up you have to make your bed you have to immediately make your bed in the morning because if you do not you will get back into bed you will literally look at your bed and you're like ah oh, but it looks so good no what you need to get out of bed you need to make your bed and you need to make it cute so that way you want to look at it once it's fully fresh and clean. Number two, you have to work out. Working out is not to look hot, okay? Working out is to mentally feel hot and then you look hot because when you feel hot on the inside, it like goes through your body and makes you look hot on the outside. So literally, I suffered from anxiety for years and my anxiety would turn into depression because I would put off everything, like all big things that I needed to get done, I would just put it all off. And I'd be like, oh, I'll just go through it later, I'll just go through it later. No, like <laughs> I have to, like you have to like go through the motions of life and you have to go to the dentist, you have to go to the doctors, you have to like do life and you don't do those things, you get depressed because then you're so far behind on life. So you have to you have to feel good. So I started looking up what to do to feel good and get rid of my anxiety and the first thing that came up was going to the gym. I didn't understand it cuz I'm like I don't want to lose weight like I'm thin like I've always been thin like I just want to put weight on. And I never understood going to the gym as like a mental health thing. Oh my god, life changing. This is what I call the Megan Fox theory. It's a little theory I came up with because I went to the gym for my first time ever. And as soon as I left the gym, I felt so superior. I felt like I was the, like the greatest thing on the planet. Like in my brain, like not like, oh my God, so hot, I'm obsessed with myself. No, like my brain felt like chemically fucking balanced. And I felt like, what am I gonna eat for dinner? I want something healthy. What am I gonna do this week? Like, what are my plans? What's my routines? What are like, I felt like I wanted to make a schedule. I felt, fucking amazing there's no other way to describe this like i felt sexy confident i feel like i could literally do anything like think of it as megan fox like literally i felt like megan fox leaving the gym in my brain not like oh i look like megan fox like no like my brain felt like so confident like megan fox and i felt unstoppable and that's when i realized going to the gym is not just to lose weight going to the gym is not just to look hot Going to the gym is so that your brain looks hot as fuck and then you feel hot as fuck. So go to the gym. If you literally want to feel your greatest, go to the gym. Number three is putting your phone on do not disturb and setting time for yourself and being selfish, literally. Being, number three is literally being selfish. There is no other way around it. You have to make time for yourself because I was on like this routine of like, okay, I have to check in with this person, check in with that person. If I like didn't answer somebody's phone call and I'd like hit the ignore button, I would feel so bad. Like I couldn't handle it. Like I would be like, okay, I have to call them right back. Like pick up the phone and just start calling. But it did me no good. It did me no good because it made me less me. It made me hurt. It made me upset. And I feel like, some people do have a negative mindset in life. And if you are always around and surrounding yourself with negative people that always have some sort of issue or some sort of problem, which everybody has problems in life, it's that's life. Life is never perfect. But you can't put your problems on other people. And I think that that's what a lot of people have problems with. So being selfish and knowing, okay, this person's negative, this person's negative, this, like I take their calls, but like here and there benefits you. I literally keep to myself these days like phone do not disturb always always and if I pick up the phone feel so gracious and lucky because I hate talking on the phone I hate texting I hate keeping up with people 
I do not like to be in the loop of anything. I don't want to know what your drama is. I don't want to know what so-and-so's drama is. I don't want to know. Like, I am so good at, like, minding my business and being in my own business. And truly, the peace that comes with minding your business, it's so hot and sexy to just be like, yeah, I don't care. I don't care. I actually don't care what so-and-so's drama is. I don't give a literal shit. Like, I don't wanna know the drama. Don't keep me updated. Number four, drink your water and eat your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You have to make sure you're eating healthy stuff like steak, chicken, rice, um, fruits and vegetables, your greens, your spinach. You have to make sure that you're eating the healthy stuff. And actually there's a study that says drinking water makes you happy. Like literally I'll put it on the screen. It, that is insane to me. Like I can't believe I never knew that. So drink your water. It's so simple. And I usually add like a little flavoring to my water because it just makes it taste better. And I usually add like, it's like strawberry and lemon and it tastes so good. So drink your water and you will feel so much better. Like in your mind and in your body, you'll feel fueled and you'll just, feel good. Number six is get a book. Go to Barnes and Noble and pick out a book. And I don't care if it's fake or real or mystery or anything, but get a book. When I started reading books, I didn't realize that I actually enjoyed it. I thought, oh my God, I could never be somebody that likes to read books. Like, no, actually your brain does not like to just scroll on TikTok. Your brain likes to just sit down and read and think and if you're just scrolling and you're just looking at stuff with your eyes on TikTok, you are just killing your brain, literally. Like I would rot in bed from scrolling on TikTok and I'd be like, why is my life not like this person's and why is this person's life so perfect? And then I would hate myself. So stop scrolling, just stop and get a book and read because it will change your life. Number seven, which is literally the most important is get a journal. You have to write down your goals for the week and what you're doing every day for that week. And I always have at least three goals at the end of my week because if you don't write something down, there's a 100% chance you'll forget and you won't remember and you're not working towards it. When you write something down on a piece of paper, your brain acts as your assistant, like literally your employee. And it's like, okay, how am I going to accomplish this goal and get this done for her? and you don't even think about it literally like your brain doesn't even allow you to think about it you just go through the motions and the steps and you don't even know that you are working towards this goal like literally you'll have no idea like you'll be drinking coffee and your brain will be thinking about okay how am i doing this how am i doing that how is she going to accomplish this it's 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 insane but like literally look it up when you write something down it literally will come to life and if you don't write it down there's zero percent chance literally like you're just not even it's so powerful to write it down and one of my biggest things that I recommend is a vision board. And I do have a video of how I make a vision board underneath this video. So I'll link it to this one. And it's truly the best. You have to make a vision board for the year and put all of your goals and your visions and your dreams on the vision board and your whole life will change. I swear, every time I make a vision board, it comes to life. Everything on there comes to life. So like, say that you want to save a hundred dollars every week for the next six weeks okay and you want to put a hundred dollars away so your brain is like okay well then i need to save money so like when you're like thinking oh i'm hungry like i'll go out to eat no your brain's gonna be like no you need to stay home because we're saving money so it just works like that for you it's like it puts you in the right direction say you want to upload videos on TikTok your brain will then start to pick up your phone, do the work. Like you, it just, it's, you have to write it down. You have to have goals and a routine of like, this is what I'm going to do this week. This is what I'm going to do this week because it helps you more than you even realize. And it's truly changed my life. Just writing down my schedule for the week and what I want to accomplish. And it's literally the only way I accomplish anything. Cause if I don't, I'm a mess. These things have literally changed my life and they are seven things I wish I knew when I needed to know these things. So I hope that this video helps somebody out there because literally all of these things have made me a thousand times of a better person and truly am starting to love myself and be the greatest person I can be for myself. 
And I think one of the most important things to take from this is if you want something, go get it and stop waiting. And don't waste your life watching other people's lives. Don't waste your life putting everybody else before yourself. Put your foot down, put yourself first, learn the word no, go to the gym, wake up early, get a journal, read a book, and be the best you you can be because life is short and you deserve to have the greatest life ever.